He's alongside me still. I have to slot in behind him again, try to switch back. All right, guys, hello and welcome to Valencia for another race video. Now, I promised you guys we'd be checking out this new course as part of the uh, GT World Series for 2023 DLC pack in Assetto Corsa Competizione. That is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Now, firstly, I've got to say a big thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Acetec Sim Sports. Now, as you guys would know by now, we've been running their Invicta pedals, their hydraulic pedal set on the daily driver rig now for over 18 months, believe it or not. Been really happy with the ride that reliability and uh, yeah they've just been really fantastic pedals overall you can catch our full review of those over on boostedmedia.net as well as their recently released Invicta and uh, Forte wheelbases we're going to have a review of their La Prima series coming up very soon so boostedmedia.net for those details or if you're just looking for more information on Aces XM Sports hit up the link down in the description below a big thank you to them once again for sponsoring today's video now if you've watched any of our previous race videos here in Assetto Corsa Competizione you'd know what I like to do when I'm learning a new track and uh, car combination like this is give myself a 30 minute practice session to do all the setup, everything I need to get my head around and that is it, then a 15 minute uh, qualifying session of course on top of that. So. What I spent most of that time doing was sort of like a, uh, a five lap stint or so, sort of adjusting my tire pressures to try and get them in that new optimum window of between 26 and 27 on the pressure gauge as you see there. I hope that I've achieved that, but because I only had half an hour and it's a 20 minute race, I wasn't able to actually test it over a long stint. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what happens with the tires today, how that actually communicates through the feeling in the car as well. I've heard that degradation is a lot more I guess uh, noticeable now than it was in the previous versions of the game. So that's all the stuff we're gonna be looking at throughout the course of today's race. Starting from ninth on the grid, that was the best I could do in qualifying. Managed a, uh, it was a low 34 in qualifying. So I'm probably three or four seconds off the pace of the really fast guys, but my setup was more of a race setup rather than a hot lap setup. So I'm not sure what people's general race pace is like at this circuit. Let me know in the comments down below. But let's get geared up for the start here now. Hopefully we have a good one. All right, let's get underway here. We've got one of the new Ferrari 296s behind us. We don't want him in front of us. We don't want to have a look at that ugly back end the whole race. <laughs> Apparently a lot of you guys agree with me that it's not the best looking Ferrari ever made. I absolutely love the uh, 488 and the uh, 458, but the new 296 just doesn't do it for me yet. Maybe it'll grow on me, I don't know. Oh, we got a McLaren on my inside there. He's gonna take a dive, I think. He's still there on my inside. Car on the right. Oh, yep, there he is. Okay, I'll give you space, I'll give you space. Oh, I don't wanna to lose touch with this lead bunch though. Back end, a little sketchy. The tires are nowhere near their pressure yet. It does take a little bit longer now since the update for those pressures to get up to optimum. I think my fastest lap in qualifying was lap four. From memory. So yeah, it's the more I drive in this new update, the more I'm sort of realizing it's so much different from what I'm used to. But that's okay. And again, let me know in the comments what you guys think of these updates too. See if we can sneak past this McLaren again. Try not to drop the front end through here. It's very easy, the track drops away. Very easy to drop the front end through there. Particularly when the tires aren't quite warmed up. But at the moment, our pressures are pretty equal across all four corners, which I'm happy with because the uh, right-hand side of the car is under a lot more load around here. There's a lot more high-speed left-hand bends than right-hand, so. Oh, a bit of understeer there, that's no good. Can't afford to do that too often. Just about in that optimum window now though, which is good. See if we can keep it there. Definitely feel like the back end of the car is uh, 
inspiring a bit more confidence than it did on the first lap now. Front end still a little understeery, but I might just be pushing a little bit too hard there. I've got to be careful I don't cook these tyres. Okay. Attack that sausage curb. Extend the track as much as we can. Try to get a good run. All right, here we go. We're going to get past him. Car on the right. Get it turned in. Come on. Yes. On the right. Got him. Sweet. Okay. Don't want to lose touch with these guys in front. Carry as much mid-corner speed as we can. Can't extend the track here a little bit more than you think you can. Can we sneak it down the inside? Right. He's going to have a good exit though. Right. He's alongside me still. Right. The right. I have to slot in behind him again, try to switch back. Get the power down here a bit earlier than you think too. You can extend out to the left. The problem is all this battling is putting the guys in front of him further ahead than we want to. So we need to either dispatch of him quickly or just kind of stay behind him and hope that he doesn't lose touch with the guys in front because if we're battling with him, we've got no hope of getting any further through the field, I don't think. It. We're good. We're okay. <laughs> We're okay. Woo. Don't hit him. Don't hit him. Ah, uh, compromise my exit. All right. So how the pressure's looking? Mid 26s, which is exactly where I wanted them. So that's good. We've got one thing right at least. <laughs> Okay, come on. Car on the right. Push him out wide. <laughs> on the right. That was a bit of a... dodgy move there. But sometimes you gotta be aggressive, don't you? Trying to catch up with these guys now. Late apex, get on the power early. And now I've got a bit of clear track. It's all gonna be about not pushing too hard and cooking the tires. Too aggressive. Whoa! <laughs> All right, we've really got to put in some fast laps now. 134.6. Okay, we can go faster than that. Come on, let's do it. Carried a little bit too much mid-corner speed again to compromise my exit. That was better. Much better lap. Another corner I tend to be too greedy on. That was pretty good. Good 
Good rear end grip now. That was better. We're still teetering in the low 134s though. I was really hoping we might get into the 133s, but not this lap. Really got to push hard though. Says we're gaining. That's what we want to hear. They're battling as well, which is going to hold them up. Yeah, definitely gaining now. What little twitch? Okay. How good is the flow of this circuit though? Careful not to be too greedy there. Okay. A little bit slower this lap than the previous. Just about halfway through the race now. Catching them slowly. That's what I just said. It's a better lap again. Little wide. That's better. Just kissing that sausage curve on the inside. <laughs> I had to open the steering there a little bit. Start to get a little bit of over rotation. Come on. That's about as wide as you can get away with there. Oh, big mistake. I think the rear tires might be just starting to lose their optimum performance now. I can feel just a little bit less grip. This is what I was worried about. Hopefully I haven't overdriven the car because we've still got a five or so laps to go. Come on, gotta catch him. I still feel connected to the car at the moment. But I'm worried that that sensation might start to disappear soon.
Good exit. Well, the lap times are consistent around the 134.1. I'm happy with consistent. Wouldn't mind it being a little bit quicker, but that's okay. Come on, we've got to get him. It's better. Pretty decent lap again. That corner really struggled for me. Okay, come on. Another couple of laps like this. Oh, I got a 133, nice. 133.8, I did not expect to get in the 133s today. I was hoping I might. Happy with that. A little bit closer, come on. This is the point when I'm just out of the slipstream is when I tend to push too hard and make mistakes. So I'm just gonna keep it sensible. Oh, a little oversteer there. Kept it in control though. This force feedback didn't just feel like it instantly disconnected, which was nice. Back end's definitely getting more sketchy now though. As soon as my confidence goes, my lap times are gonna go too. Oh yeah, back end's moving around now. I hope I haven't overdriven the car. There it goes again. It's still controllable though. It's just getting unstable on turn in now. Too slow on the exit. Moving around again. The tire wear is really progressive though. It feels really good. I haven't lost that confidence in the car. One of the things I always struggle with is when the tires start to go off. I immediately lose confidence and that's just not really happening. I'm losing a bit of pace, but I still feel like I can drive the car. Come on, we've got to get closer. I don't know if we're going to catch him, boys, but... <laughs> we certainly had a lot of fun trying.
A little wide again. That was quicker. Man, I'm drenched in sweat now. <laughs> it's pushing so hard. Oh, nearly lost the back. You see that front right is now actually just kissing 27 on the pressure gauge, which is the top of the optimum range. So. Coming into the final lap. So we maybe could have run the pressures a couple of notches lower, but overall it's been pretty good. Oh, too wide, too wide. <laughs> I'm just sending it now. the back end again. The front end has behaved itself though. I haven't really felt like the front end's going off. I'm not understeering everywhere. But the back is definitely getting loose on turn in. You definitely feel the progression throughout the course of a race more than you did before. Couple more corners to go. Uh, bad apex. <laughs> Lost 0.3 of a second on that last corner. Oh well. <laughs> no, that was a lot of fun. It's definitely a lot to learn there. Definitely a lot that's different from what I'm used to in ACC, but hopefully you guys found that valuable too. Um, definitely more progression in the tyre and its uh, degradation over time. You definitely feel it communicated better through the car as well. And uh, yeah, just being able to attack those curbs and not have to be scared of them and you know running away from them constantly makes for a uh, much more enjoyable overall experience. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below as well if you've tried a race already. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for future races. Make sure you're subbed if you aren't already. Leave a like if you've enjoyed it. And I will see you again very soon. See you guys.